to create a waterfall chart, uh, you need four columns. So the first one, we'll call it start and end. And then we'll have a base. And this is a very critical column. And then we have up and down. Notice that I'm starting the columns uh, one row above uh, the title row of the pivot table. So these columns will be one row above. And then I will start with the year in this case, which is 2016, uh, because we are looking at our starting point is 2016. And then we are showing the movements or changes throughout the year 2017 to till the end of year 2017. So for the movement, we want to see the waterfall or the bridge by country. So we will simply link or reference this cell to the pivot table uh, names of the countries. And then finally, we have year 2017. Okay, so what do we have? What is the data in each of these columns? So the first one, which is start and end, uh, year 2016, you will start with the total, which is this cell, and then press enter. Okay, and then uh, for base, we will get back to that. But before that, let's look at the up and down. So up would reflect all the variances which are positive, so which is a year over year growth, and down will reflect all the variances that are negative. So there are multiple ways of doing that, but uh, the one I like is the if function because it is easy to follow. So my formula would be is equal to if the cell, the variance, if this is greater than zero, we need this value. Otherwise, we need a zero, right? So what we are saying is if this variance is more than zero, it's a positive number, we want this number. Otherwise, just put zero in the cell. So if I press enter, you can see that and drag it all the way down and you can see it only picks up the positive value and places zero if it is not a positive value here the formula will be in reverse so if you behave what we will say is if this number is less than zero comma we want this number but we want this with a negative sign because in the waterfall char chart all the data is positive we use the absolute values so I'm just going to say minus this cell. Otherwise, we need zero. So you will see in a moment what this does. As you can see, it's only bringing up the negative values, but it's showing a positive number to, uh, number to reflect those values. Let's quickly format this portion a little bit. So I want it to be a number without the decimal values. Right. Now this is the base column and this is the most important column. This will actually be the hidden column. And if you go back to the graph, you see uh, this is a stacked bar graph and there's actually something that you can see that is the, the bars here. So below this 848, there's another bar which you cannot see uh, because we have uh, turned off its color uh, and, uh, and this is how the waterfall chart is uh, made. So, the, so you can see this is, the bar for 2016 this is the bar for 2017 and in between the greens the green ones are the the ones coming from the up column and the red ones are coming from the down column but there's one more column which is the base column which is hidden which we can't see right so let's go back to the data uh, to the pivot and create the formula for this base this is the most crucial formula and getting this right is important if you want a correct waterfall chart so the formula would be you will start with the starting point which is this which is the combined gdp value of the top 10 countries for the year 2016 and then you will add the up or the increase in the in the row above so row above this formula and then you will subtract subtract the down or the decrease in the same row so this is crucial this is the starting point take this number Take this cell, which is the starting point, add the up uh, or increase in the row above and then subtract the value of the decrease in the row, uh, in the same row as the formula. You press enter. There's one more change you need to make. So if I copy this formula down, as you can see, 
uh, this is okay we are fine with the up and down but for the starter end we need to just move this cell and choose base as the value that's it we press enter this will change the value and now I'm going to drag it down all the way till the end now one way to check that your formula is correct is that this number should automatically be calculated to be this number so there is no no variance there however for the purpose of the chart just cut this cell cut this value the last value and bring it back to start or end so in this case i'm using control x which basically cuts the value keeps the formula and then control v here it is um, you have the end value which is the same as this and if you want you can put a formula in place which would be this minus this and it should be zero you can call it check right a good excel user always creates uh, checks and balances in place so that if there is an error they can easily identify so our data is ready for the for the chart one more thing i want to do before i create the chart is i want to divide these values by 1000 just to make them more easy on the eyes. We don't want all these big numbers here. I mean, we are talking about trillions right now. So, but I still wanna, you know, divide it further by a thousand. So one way of dividing the values by 1000 is that you type 1000 in any cell, any blank cell, and then you press Control C for copy and select the data you wanna divide it by. So first I select this, and then I press control and select these values. Um, I don't want to change the values for base and final because they're already a formula. So as soon as I, I change these numbers, update these numbers, this will be updated automatically. So I've made my selection. I'll click just anywhere on the selection, paste special values, divide, okay. So there you go. It's now all the numbers have been uh, divided by 1000. And you see my check is showing a formula error because originally I compared the full value, not the value divided by 1000. So I need to change my formula as well. So this will be C15 divided by 1000 minus C15. And there you go. That's your check. So our data is ready for the chart now. Now, how, how we are going to create the chart is select from here all the way down to 2017 and all the way till the end okay and then click on insert and you need the chart which is which looks something like this okay so this is called the stacked column chart this is the one we use for waterfall charts i'm just going to click this okay so this is the in it this is the chart now in its raw form and let's bring it down a little so that we can start working with the chart directly now because right now it's not what we want we need to make a few adjustments good thing is you need to make those adjustments once and then going forward the chart will be updated automatically first thing i just want to remove this legend i don't need that so i have all the countries and i have this um, all the charts this as if you if you select on any of the chart you can actually see where the data is coming from so for example if i select this one this was the this is the base uh, column as and you can see above here this is these numbers are coming from the base now what we are going to do is we are just going to hide these so uh, i select them again and you can see they are all selected this is the uh, base columns that are selected I right click on this and in the fill just select no fill okay and now you see they are gone and this looks more like the waterfall chart that we were looking for but still because of the scale because of the uh, the value of the variance or the change it, it is so small in comparison to the uh, you know combined value the uh, combined value of the gdp this is looking very small and this does not give a really visual picture of which ones are the main contributors so we do need to change the scale so one way of doing that is click on this um, uh, you know vertical axis the click on the numbers there click on the as soon as you click on the numbers it, this sort of uh, vertical rectangle shows up and now you right click 
and you right click and format access so when you click on format access this menu appears and what I want to do is I want to put to start this uh, this chart or this bar graph from a higher value so that the scale changes so what I'm going to do is it's just going to make it 50,000 which is really 50 trillion so right now it's starting from zero but I want to start this uh, column or bar graph from 50,000 let's see what happens when we do that so you see as soon as you do this your your, your access updates and it starts showing you from 50,000 goes all the way up and then you can see now you can clearly see what are the main contributors so clearly identify that you know and I'm going to change the colors in a minute but you know right, right now these gray colors are the positive ones and you can see US China and Brazil are the big contributors in terms of GDP growth and then these ones these orange ones are negative and you can see UK and Japan being uh, two of the larger contributors of the negative growth uh, last year versus 2017. Now to change the color we know um, positives should be green so what you do is um, you, if you if you select on one one of those uh, bar graphs it automatically selects all those and again this is referring to column up as you can see here now I'm going to change the color to green there we go and similarly I'm going to change this color by selecting this to red I did the outline. Right. There you go. Now you want to see some data. I want to add the data labels. So first I select this, these two, and I say add data labels, and it immediately adds these number numbers. Uh, you can also format data labels. You can decide where you want to place them. There are multiple things you can do. Right now they are placed at the center of the bar graph. But let's say I want to place it inside end, more towards the end. So you see it shifted it up and it will update automatically once the data changes. Similarly for this one, I want to add data labels as well. And I want to format the data labels. You know, uh, format data labels does not appear um, as an option until you add data labels. So now that you have data labels, you can format them. and. Uh, we want this to be let's say inside base no let's put it inside the end okay and you can start seeing these uh, dashes these zero values because if you remember there is data in the uh, here this ones and there is a way this uh, to remove these just to not show these dashes and I'm going to show you that in just a second in fact, why don't I just do that right now? So you can format how the, these numbers appear uh, on the on the chart. And this is the option here, number. By the way, I'm using Excel 2013, but these are options are also available in older version like Excel 2010. Slightly different layout, but you can still uh, do this. The trick will work. Now, what you want to do is you want to change the format code, right? So first you select custom because you are, going, you are going to tailor the formatting of this number and then you click on format code and just type this zero column column and add and you see all the dashes are gone right so what it does is zero is really representing that you know if the number is a positive number just put it as it is right and then the first semicolon separates the positive to the negative value so if i put something here in the in the middle after the first semicolon um, it will it will be the formatting for the negative numbers and then the second after the second semicolon it is the formatting formatting for zero for the number value zero itself so if you just leave it blank, what it will do is just remove the zeros and you don't have that noise anymore. Okay, you click add and then that's it. 
so we have we have done we have added the positive data labels we just will just do the same thing for the negative data labels you know the decline data labels right click add data labels and uh, you see those dashes coming up again and again you have to format the uh, number so you're going to format data labels click on number uh, select custom formatting and in the format code you do the same thing zero semicolon semicolon and it's twice and click add and those uh, zeros are gone as well okay now again if you want to change the formatting for this one uh, you want to put them inside the end you know I, I like for negative values i like to do that but it's because it makes it more clear that they are uh, negative values so there it is you know your waterfall chart is ready if more if you want you can remove these lines amazing isn't it so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to click like thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel i try to give some real information some real facts so that you know we learn uh, as we are learning excel we also learn some facts uh, that's it for now cheers bye bye